Hello and welcome to the Out of the Sandbox video guide to the Turbo 2.1 Multi-Tag Filter. Today we're going to take a look at the settings necessary to set up your multi-tag filter to allow your shoppers to visit your collection pages and filter through your products using multiple tags simultaneously. This feature is specific to the 2.1 version of Turbo, so if you're using a previous version of Turbo and you would like to leverage this new feature, then I suggest you update your theme using any of your favorite ways, including using the Out of the Sandbox Theme Updater app to update your theme while carrying over any of your past customizations. The first step to getting this feature set up would be to make sure that your products are tagged. So from your admin panel, go to Products, open up a product, and take a look at the tags area down here. This product has no tags yet, so let's enter some tags to help describe it. And we want to enter any tags that might appear in our tag filter, such as tank top as the style of the product, and melonade as the color of the product. If we'd like to do a price range filter, we can enter a tag associated with the price range here as well. So you'd want to go through all of your products and add tags in a similar way following the same formatting and convention. This could seem fairly laborious for a large catalog, so here's a pro tip. Head into Products, select all of the products, and then use this Edit Products button to jump into the Bulk Editor, where you can add the Tags field and then add tags in bulk to products. If you have already added tags to your products, it would be advisable to go ahead and make a list of all of the tags that you've added and what categories those tags fall into. With your products properly tagged and assuming that you already have collections created and you already have a way of navigating to these collections from your home page, now we can add the feature to the sidebar by going to Online Store, Themes, Customize Theme, and then navigating to a collection page in the preview window here on the right, which I'm doing using the Shop link in my main menu, which will allow me to access the section settings here on the left, down at the bottom, I can add content blocks to my sidebar, such as the tag filter. So here are the settings for the tag filter. You can enter the title, which would be the attribute that you're filtering by. And then you would enter the tags associated with that attribute. So you can enter all of the color tags here associated with any products across the shop. And there they are showing up in the sidebar already. Here we can display color swatches. Only these two color swatches are appearing since Melonade and Rose are unique color names. Now you can add custom color swatches to your Out of the Sandbox theme, and I'll refer you to our various support articles to help you in adding custom color swatches. With our first tag filter added, let's make this a multi-tag filter by adding another tag filter. We'll enter the title here of Style, and I've got a list of all of the various styles of products on my shop, and I'm going to paste them in here separated by commas, just the styles associated with the products appearing on this collection page will appear in the sidebar as you see. This tag filter has the display color swatch setting as well, and even though these aren't colors, you can use this setting creatively to display whatever type of image that you would like to show, like in this example here where we have these small icons beside each one of the styles. So as long as you've got a PNG image in your assets folder, that has a name that matches the tag that you've added to the product, then the image will appear beside the tag in the tag filter. Let's wrap it up by adding this price filter and adding in the tags associated with those price ranges following the same formatting that I used when I was adding those tags to products. We can go ahead and save those changes to see that we now have a functioning multi-tag filter where we can filter by multiple attributes at a time. As with any of the content blocks that you'll find on the Shopify section settings interface, you can reorder and reposition the blocks by simply clicking and dragging them within the settings as you see here. And that's really all there is to it, to add a multi-tag filter to the collection pages of your Turbo 2.1 Shopify theme. If you had any questions or hit any snags, head on over to our new support center help.outofthesandbox.com where you can look up your question and find a plethora of resources to help you out. My name is Sean Campbell. Thank you for joining me for this video. Take care.